out to Jammu and Kashmir where a child was killed and at least five injured in an explosion in Dangri village in Jammu and Kashmir's Rajori district as per the police. The blast was reported near the house of a victim of yesterday's terrorist attack. The nature of the explosion is not clear yet. The incident took place amidst a massive cordon and search operation to track down two suspected terrorists involved in yesterday's targeted killings. Now the death count in yesterday's terror attack in the district has climbed to four this morning after one of the injured civilians died in the hospital. Nazir Masoodi is now joining us with more details. Nazir, uh, I understand that the sense of uh, fear must be high at the moment, uh, especially in that village. What is the police saying about uh, the cordon and search operation and how uh, perhaps that explosive device was missed out? Well, uh, both army and police have said that they are, uh, uh, this operation is underway to track, track down the attackers since yesterday evening, soon after that attack. But what is really baffling, how could you know security forces not sanitize the village, not sanitize those houses which were attacked yesterday in a major terror attack, which was a target attack where innocent people were, you know, targeted, how they barged into the houses and, 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 and then killed them. This is clearly a target attack for who they are. And, uh, and, and they have been at the anger, there are massive protests in the BJP, BJP chief was heckled when he tried to meet the protesters this morning. He spoke to many people there as well. But the fact is that the way it has happened since yesterday, five people, including one child, has been killed. There are reports one more child may have, you know, scammed to injuries, but we are waiting for an official confirmation. Uh, since since yesterday, people are wondering how come the innocent people can be targeted like this. And in an area which was largely peaceful for almost two decades, but for the last one year, we have seen increasing number of the militants-related incidents in Rajori. There was a major suicide attack on an army camp in August in which five soldiers were killed. And this is the second incident of civilian killings in Rajori over the last two weeks. On, August, on, on December 16th, there were two civilians were killed outside an army camp. Army had said that terrorists were, had fired on civilians who were working for the army as laborers. But the locals and the you know relatives said no. They were killed in army firing. Government has ordered a probe. Probe report is yet to be uh, is still awaited. But in this case, everybody, local police, everyone said that how gunmen came, they barged into their homes, resorted to indiscriminate firing in three residential houses yesterday evening and then they killed four innocent civilians injured nine others and even before the bodies were you know you know cremated even before the people you know relatives would perform the last rites uh, there was a id uh, you know blast that took place in which one child was you know killed five or six others were injured. Hmm. There was really mayhem in the whole area. Police and the army, they rushed to the area again. They, they moved, the, you know, took the, these injured to hospital. But this is something which is a big question mark because government has been talking about that militancy right. is on its last okay. leg. But we see it is mm -hmm. the innocent people who bear the brand of these targeted right. attacks. Nazir, getting us those details uh, from Jammu and Kashmir.